Hey guys, Eve here, and I know that some of you guys have been requesting a eyebrow tutorial for a very long time, and I've had it planned in my how-to series to do this, so I figured might as well go ahead and do it. I'm not going to spend too much time on this intro. I know this video is going to be really short. I like to keep these videos short so that you guys can get some quick information on how to do these types of essential makeup techniques. So if you guys want to see how I do my brows every day, go ahead and keep on watching. Let's go. Alright, so I look a little crazy because I already have one brow on. So one thing that I will say is that I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Definer for this. Recently I've been kind of planning on switching back over to the Brow Wiz just because when I use my NYX Micro Brow, I realize how much more precise I can get. The brow definer is definitely something that you should use already have a pretty decent shape. I have a pretty good shape, I guess. I just have some sparseness underneath. But this brow has a lot of issues with that, so I always have trouble with this brow. Making sure that it doesn't look like just a painted on brow. First thing you want to do, this is another perk of the brow definer, is that you could get a really nice line really easily. So I kind of go by my natural brow shape. You can do the whole like mapping it out, like if you take your pencil to your nose and cross it through the pupil of your eye it should land like right here and that's where your arch should be but I just kind of follow my natural eye shape so I brush everything up like so and then I take this and I go in tiny little strokes because I want it to be pretty light at first I kind of fill out that part first just because that's the part that has the most fullness and then I want to follow that line straight across and create more hair like stuff there and then I'm going to turn it downwards towards the tail of my brow. You can kind of fix the shape as you go on however you prefer it and then you want to take your spoolie before anything else. You just kind of want to comb through especially like the front of your brow so that it's not super stark. And then I would normally comb through this part, but since there's like no actual hair there, it doesn't really blend in and it just takes off the product. So I like to comb my hair backwards as I'm combing this part through, like so. That looks a little bit more natural. And then I kind of comb this section down a little bit so you can see the sparseness there. And I kind of apply the product in my brow. Because I don't want it to go over the brow. I don't want to make my brow thicker really. That's not who I am as a person, but I want to define that top line. And then kind of brush down and then brush it out. Like so. But honestly, there's really no right or wrong brow shape. It's all up to you. It's all up to what makes you feel good. And then to make it cleaned up like I have it on this side, I want to take an angled brush and some concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it's super pigmented and it's my favorite and I usually kind of start at the end leave the curve part for last and then I want to carve out this ending part make sure that the angle meets so that you actually have like a point of a brow You want to be really gentle while you're doing this because you don't want that concealer product to get into the brow. So you want to just take it and like slightly drag it down. I usually like to apply my brows after I put on my foundation and before I put on concealer all over the rest of my face just because I find that it's easier to blend in the concealer to the wet foundation that hasn't been set with a powder just because liquid on top of powder is always kind of iffy. But after that's applied you could either take a translucent powder or a shimmery powder or a powder that's close to your skin tone, whatever you feel most, com most comfortable with. And you're just going to press that powder right into the top, not onto the brow, but just onto the concealer to kind of help set the concealer. And this is just for underneath the brow because above the brow, 
You'll set the concealer with the powder that you use to set your face. Alright, so one more step for our brows for today. We want to grab some brow gel to set the hairs in place. My favorite brow gel to use is the Anastasia brow gel. I know there's a lot of Anastasia products in this video. And that's mainly because I truly believe that Anastasia Beverly Hills has some of the best brow products in the game. There's a reason why she's so popular. She has so many types. She basically innovated the brow definer shape and the brow whiz with like the spoolie on the other end. And everyone else kind of copied her in my opinion. And her products, they perform the best as well. Like her pencils are super creamy, um, but sturdy enough to where they don't go everywhere. Whereas like... A lot of products they're either too creamy or too waxy to where they're like too hard to manipulate it's like drawing on with a crayon and then her pomades they really do stay on all day and this brow gel really does stay on all day Jaclyn Hill was correct when she said that this is basically super glue for your brows the way that I brush it just so that you guys can see is I brush this all horizontal down the shape of my brow and I make sure that that point kind of really comes together at the end and I brush the front of my brows upwards so that it because that's the way that it wants to grow and then like these ones I'll go a little bit more at an angle just so it blends in better and that's all for the brows all right guys and that is how I do my eyebrows don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and click that subscribe button down below as well if you guys want to see more types of how-to videos go ahead and click that little button right up here and don't worry a full tutorial on the rest of this makeup look is on the way all right guys Happy September, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.